Sometimes I forget completely what companionship is. Unconscious and insane, I spill sad energy everywhere. My story gets told in various ways, a romance, a dirty joke, a war, a vacancy. Divide up my forgetfulness to any number it will go around. These dark suggestions that I follow, are they a part of some plan? Friends, be careful. Don't come near me out of curiosity or sympathy. So the question is, Ajayaji, what are these dark suggestions? And are they a part of some plan? <laughs> It's all the misery, gloom of life. That is these dark suggestions. By suggestions, Rumi means the urge, the tendency, the motivation to remain in darkness, to act out of darkness. And there is a lot of that darkness in our life. We follow that as if somebody is instructing us or advising or compelling and we are following his suggestions and we are following his suggestions. Now, Rumi is saying, are they a part of some plan? And that is also the question here. Are they a part of some plan? Yes, there is a plan. The plan is that you have to look at those suggestions and get rid of them. Somebody suggests you something. By following his suggestion, you find that your misery is deepening. Your darkness is deepening. What do you do with the suggestion? You dismiss it. Do you dismiss only the suggestion? No, you also dismiss the one who has been suggesting. And you have been following these suggestions since long. Sometimes you see how much pain comes out of these suggestions, sometimes you don't see that. As a result, you feel that some of your motivations are good for you and the others are not. You feel some of your actions are good and the others are not. You feel some of your thoughts are good and the others are not. Isn't it very common to see people distinguishing between positive thoughts and negative? We are prepared at most to dismiss some of our motivations, our urges. But even when we dismiss them, we dismiss them relatively. We dismiss the good in relation to the bad. Corrected. We dismiss the bad in relation to the good. Which means that every time we dismiss the bad, we end up accepting something else as good. Every time you dismiss something bad, you end up accepting something that you call as good. So the rejection is never total. In fact, there is no rejection at all. It is a zero-sum game. Something has been rejected and in its lieu, something else has been accepted. So the center from where all these suggestions comes, all the motivations arise, that center remains untouched, unscrutinized.
dismiss the very center for that you will need to dismiss not only that which appears problematic but also that which appears auspicious then the plan will fructify we don't enable the plan to achieve its result the world is a plan what is the objective of the plan that the plan must be seen through that the plan must be dismantled when you are given a riddle a puzzle what is the objective the objective is not that you remain forever caught in the riddle the objective is that the riddle must be solved that is the plan the solution is the plan the dissolution is the plan let the plan materialize rumi has said dark suggestions i will add bright suggestions to it dark suggestions that you follow or the bright suggestions that you follow see where are all of these suggestions coming from suggestion is motivation suggestion is the urge to act see where are all the dualistic contrasting inclinations arising from sometimes you want to eat sometimes you don't want to eat sometimes you love sometimes you hate is there really a dimensional difference between our love and hate are they not just two sides of the same coin is love always not prepared to quickly turn into hate look at your enemies today do you have strangers there all your enemies are but people who did not fulfill or could not fulfill the expectations that you had from them as friends the dark and the bright are not merely coexisting they are existing as each other you may even say because of each other so that is not precise but it is not false if you say that darkness exists because of the so called brightness and the brightness exists only in relation to the darkness they all arise from this darkness and they both remain protected because they both appear different had they appeared same both would have disappeared 